Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Lectures Online. Today we are treating the, the matrix N3 task 2 question paper which was written on the 29th of October 2019. There's three questions and the first question is a geometry of coordinates whereby we are given this Cartesian plane with this figure which has four points which are P, S, R, Q. And the first question says determine the gradient of line P, S. Second question says the length of P, Q. Third question, the equation of the line through M, the midpoint of P, Q, and P parallel to P, S. Fourth question, the equation of the line perpendicular to P, S passing through the origin. 1.5, the coordinates of the point of intersection of the following lines given the line through Q point Q which is which the coordinates are negative 6 and 4 which is parallel to the y axis and the line 2y minus 5 equals to x so let's answer the questions the first question says the gradient of PS 1.1 Point P it's negative three seven S is three one and we know that gradient goes to change in Y over change in X which is Y S which is ys minus yp over xs minus xp therefore this is going to be 1 minus 7 over 3 minus minus 3 and if we punch this into the calculator punch this into the calculator it's going to be minus 7 over 3 minus minus 3 this negative 1 therefore gradient ps equals to negative 1 equation 1.2 says the length of pq p is negative 3 and 7 and Q is negative 6 and 4. We know the distance formula equals to square root of x q minus xp squared plus yq minus yp squared all under square root and if you substitute the values it's going to be negative 6 minus minus 3 squared plus yq which is 4 minus 7 squared punch this into the calculator it's going to negative 6 minus minus 3 squared plus Four minutes squared. Get three squared two, which is four point two four units. That's the distance PQ. One point three says um, the equation of the line through M, the midpoint of PQ, and parallel to QS. So to get the point M, whereby, whereby the line passes, we have to, 
calculate the midpoint of PQ and no P negative 3 and 7 Q negative 6 and 4 and the midpoint capital letter M P Q equals to XP plus XQ over 2 YP plus YQ over 2 Okay, if we substitute, we will get negative 3 minus 6 over 2 and 7 plus 4 all over 2. And this is, if you punch this into the calculator, it's going to be 3 minus 6 over 2, which is negative 4.5. And seven plus four over two is five point five. So we've got the point, we've got one point, and we are told that uh, the line is parallel to PS, so its gradient will be equal to gradient of PS, where PS equals to negative one. Question one point three continuation. Therefore, y minus y one equals to m x minus x one. This is the equation of a straight line, and our y one is five point five. Our m, which is the gradient, is negative one x and our x one negative 4.5 so it's going to be negative minus negative 4.5 we make y subject of the formula it will be y negative x negative plus negative it's going to be positive times negative one then it's going to be negative again to 4.5 plus 5.5 get negative x plus 1 punch this into the calculator 4.5 plus 5 get 1 then and that's 1.3 continuation 1.4 is it says the equation of the line perpendicular to ps and passing through the origin so we know one point whereby the line passes through which is the origin whereby x is zero and y is zero but then we do not know the gradient but since we are told that it's perpendicular to the line ps we know that the product of perpendicular the pro product of the gradients of perpendicular lines equals to negative one so the Our gradient of the perpendicular line times the gradient of PS equals to negative 1. And we make the subject of the formula. So it's going to be perpendicular equals to negative 1 over gradient of PS. And we substitute the values and we get positive 1. So going back to the equation of a straight line. Our y1 is 0 equals to our m, which is m perpendicular 1x. Our x1 equals 0. And make y subject of the formula, we end up with y equals to x as our, the equation of our line. And then 5.5, we are given q as a point where by a certain line passes through, and that line is parallel to the y axis and we are also given 2y minus 5 equals to x the question says the coordinates of the point of intersection of calculate the coordinates of the point of intersection of the following two lines given the line through q which is negative 6 and 4 which is parallel to the y axis and the line 2y 
minus 5 equals to x. And we know that at the point of intersections, the two lines that intersect share that point as the common point. So the y value and the x value on that point has to be the same. So since we are told that uh, this line which passes through q is parallel to the y-axis, we know that this line is a constant x. It's x equals to a number. Let's say x equals to a since it's parallel to the y-axis. So it's just a, a constant. So since uh, we also know that um, the two lines share like the same point where they intersect we can see the x value of that line which is parallel to the x axis equals to x the x value of the line which is given by this equation so say x1 equals to x2 and since we know that like for the line passing through q it's a constant x equals to a and that uh, a will be negative 6 since that's the x coordinate on that line and it doesn't change so we're going to see negative 6 equals to then u x equals to this which is 2y minus 5 minus 5 then we solve for y by doing so we take 5 to the side so it's going to be 5 minus 6 equals to 2y and we end up with 1 equals to 2y Therefore, y equals to negative 1 over 2. So, that point, the x coordinate, it's going to be negative 6. Since on this line, it doesn't change the world. And then, when solving, we got y as negative 1 over 2. So, that's our point of insert intersection for the two lines. And we're done with the coordinate geometry.